Uh, modern boilers uh, and certain types of heat emitters uh, do actually have a fairly high resistance to flow. Uh, this resistance coupled with uh, the resistance of uh, the pipes and the fittings um, on a typical system such as the one uh, that you see on the diagram uh, form an overall system resistance. Um, and uh, for a typical pump to be able to uh, overcome this resistance it needs to have certain uh, characteristics. The manufacturer of a pump uh, produces a uh, graph known as the uh, pump uh, performance characteristics. Here we have a uh, uh, performance characteristics uh, chart of a fixed rate pump with three different speeds. The Vertical axis here is given as a function of pressure loss in meter and the horizontal axis is given as a function of flow rates in kilograms per second. But then as one litre of water weighs one kilogram, therefore we can actually define the flow rate uh, as a function of litres per second. So Let's now uh, try and, and uh, have a look at an example uh, in order to uh, uh, interpret the information on this graph within the context of that example. Uh, if we were to consider uh, a pump uh, that's required to produce a flow of 0 0.137 litres per second uh, against the uh, the uh, index circuit, i.e. Uh, the system's most uh, resistive path uh, of 3.246, we can then see that where the two lines meet, i.e. the intercept point, is actually where uh, the pump setting needs to overcome uh, in, order to, uh, uh, in order to supply uh, the uh, uh, adequate amount of flow. Uh, in other words, if we were to set the speed setting of this uh, particular pump um, into speed setting 2, we can see that this is exactly what we're going to get uh, where this particular example is concerned. Uh, if we had set the actual uh, speed setting to speed 3, we would have had too much circulation, likewise uh, if we set the speed setting to speed 1, uh, we would have had uh, insufficient uh, circulation within our circuit. We will probably refer back to this video again at some later stage uh, in order to try to put all this within the context of uh, an overall system structure uh, of a, a heating system. So until then, Thank you very much for watching.